Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. My name is Tracy. Your workout today is going to be a total body workout circuit. I like this format. I basically put my dumbbells around my mat and then I move around my mat in a combination of strength and cardio exercises. I'm going to make this a no repeat workout today, so lots of fun. You don't know what's coming up next. It's going to be great. Your format will be that 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between. So, in essence, you'll have four strength to two cardio, okay? So just look at the top of the screen and you'll see what's coming up. If you love this format or you like the total body work it circuit, so make sure you check the card at the top of the screen. That's another one for another time this week. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's go. hit high intensity intervals on my watch okay let's start with some front and back bends here I already have my weights around my mat here and as you saw in that first screen I've got 15s then 8s then a space 5s 20s and then a space okay so it's two strength one cardio two strength one cardio just like that good take it a little wider let's touch our toes I might you know swap out some of the weights. I might grab 10s, but for now I'm going to stick with this um, format. And basically, I mean, I can find exercises that I lift in that rep range or in that weight range, so <laughs> should be just fine. Keeps it simple. Reach across. Now, you might not lift what I lift. Maybe you lift heavier or lighter, but if you've done any of my workouts, you probably know where you are in comparison to what I do. If you're uh, lift heavier or lighter, so uh, go accordingly and set your weights up, okay? Excellent. I, I really like this format just because you're like going around in a circle, shoulder circles here, speaking of which, uh, and the no repeat is fun. It's like, what's coming up next? I don't know. <laughs> we'll just do something. And I like the two strength, one cardio for myself as well. All right, switch directions. Little more focus on strength, but the cardio to get the heart rate up is great. All right, let's do a little squat overhead reach. That's it. One more here and wide. Opening the chest. Good. These aren't the best pants for jumping and hopping, I just remembered. <laughs> I'll be pulling them up a lot. They're great for walking around the mall, just not the best for working out. But they're cute, and that's why I wear them. One more here. Let's do a little um, torso turn. more here. Good. And let's finish with some hip openers. These days right now are like cold in the morning, hot in the afternoon. You know, those September days that you wear pants and now you're like dying of heat. <laughs> Three minutes into the workout. Should have wore shorts. Oh well. Four. Three. Two. One. All right. Are you ready? I think so. Let's do it. We're starting with the 15s. Starting with my 15 pound dumbbells, I'm going to go on my back. I'm going to do a wide to narrow chest press with the glute bridge as I press to the ceiling. Starting a regular chest press, turn to face. Here we go. Turn and face and down. Press and down. So my hips are up when the dumbbells are up. You bring them down when the dumbbells are down. Still bring your chest, a nice flex of those pec muscles. We're gonna kneel after this. Okay, for a curl press combo. All right, 
our right. Good, set those weights down. I'm gonna go into kneeling. If you can't kneel, feel free to stand. All right, holding my eights. Curl, press, shoulders back, core engaged, and work here. Up, press, elbows in, good. Try not to swing at the bottom. it slightly more challenging because you can't use your legs to give yourself that little help or bob. Just got to use the muscles. Good. Up to your cardio. Two jacks, two jabs. You can modify with a jab, jab, jab right there. I'm going to box or shuffle in the meantime. You don't need the break. This is what you can do. Here we go. Jab, jab, two jacks right there. Same side, and then I'll go half. All right, same side, here we go. Take it back, lateral here. Good, you're lifting at the top. One more here. Switch sides. I'm gonna do a one arm row with my dumbbells, the 20. I'm just gonna hold one. Of course, you can go lighter if you need. All right, stagger my stance. One foot in front, one behind, super flat back. I'm gonna support myself on my knee. You could use a bench or chair if you have it handy. All right, here we go. Up, I will call half. All right, switch arms, and work, flat back. Okay, a frog squat center jack. So you're gonna come to the side, squat, jack, squat, jack. All right, here we go. Touch it low, jack it here, and low here. Feel bond right here.
All right, nice. Deadlift, shoulder press. I'm gonna hold the 15s. I'm gonna deadlift here. I'll flip it and press it. Ready, and hinge. Slow, lift, press, just like that. front lunge, front raise combo. I'll hold eight. I'm gonna front raise at the top, so I'll lunge first, come up tall, front raise there, palms face the ground. Here we go, alternating legs. Raise here, now switch. Because these weights are a bit heavy, I'm gonna take my time at the top. I'm gonna swing, I'm gonna place. Jump is next. You could do a three pulse tiptoe squat to mod. All right, weights down. Quick sip. So, three pulses at the bottom. One, two, three, and into your jump. Low. Two, three, jump it here. Land soft. Two, three. Stationary lunge, one arm up, one down, and we'll switch. Here we go. Switch, press, switch in the center, press. Press. So keep the elbows in, it's a hammer curl. Shoulder press. All right, switch your legs and work. chest press for myself with the 20s. Oh, I can't do 20s. Okay. So you're going to create a circle with your dumbbells. Butts touching and then turn and top touching at the top. All right. Bring it low. Press over the chest and low. to a narrow wide burpee coming up. You can modify with jacks at the top if you don't want to hop down on your wrists or walk it out to mod.
All right, set those. Cardio. So you're gonna jump narrow, then wide, then stand. No jump at the top though. Just stand it. All right. So narrow, wide, stand. There you go. Lay it all the way out. Keep your core engaged though. soft. So, single, single, double here. Elbows in. Good. Single, single, the lateral, high front, and center down. Roll your shoulders back, lighten if you need. Here, and slow stick your chest out. this here, knee, knee, little, whoop, little squat here, two pulses. Otherwise, we jump right here, here, to here. Core to 
Okay, suitcase squat is next. Holy. I'm holding 20s. This is heavy. You can hold one in a goblet if you need. Good shoulder width. And drop. Last here. Okay, that's heavy. Knee drive. We'll stay on the same side till I come half. Get low. Reach here and drive. Drive. That's it. You're gonna feel that burn on your glute. The working leg there, or stationary leg rather. There's the burn. Stay low. Let's go. Four, three, two, one. Switch legs and work. Up. Single dumbbell press overhead. All right, feet wider than shoulder width. Drop your glutes low, pick it up and press. Low, flip it, press it, watch your mouth. Big wide press coming up with those eights. Nice. All right. So those go like this. I'm going to take it wide into that plie. Hold my dumbbells at shoulder. Press into that Y at the top. All right. And wide. All right, jumping lunge with a hop in the center. You can modify with just reverse lunges, okay? Alternating. Or you can make it more challenging by not taking that center hop. Just alternating jumping lunge. All right, so lunge, center, lunge, center, good.
All right, huh. that was hard. Full range of motion, lateral raise, palms face away, ceiling, slow descent. Up, up, slow, 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 slow. If you're lifting light, you can go nice and slow on the descent. Okay, if you're lifting heavier, you can go a bit quicker. Single dumbbell deadlift goblet squat combo with my 20. Okay. I'm gonna hold the 120. I'm gonna deadlift here. I'm gonna pick it up. Goblet squat there. Hinge of the waist and down. Two, pick it up. Goblet here and down. Hinge into a squat. Reach your hips back on that squat too. Your tendency may not be to do that, so think about it. Jump or step. Here now. Here, you got another 15 seconds. Uh, we're gonna start with a row rotation. If you can't lift your 15, no worries, grab a lighter weight. All right, get down. All right, I'm just holding one dumbbell. Stay on the same side till I call half. You can modify this from the knee. Okay, you just drop your opposite knee here, like this. Don't over rotate. One more here, row and switch arms. Here we go. Eights are too heavy. We're gonna rock here. Sit up and press. Here we go. All right, low and press. Feet only come to 45 degrees, not 90. Press, use those abs. Up, good. We're gonna do a plank jack 
bear pop combo next. Of course, you can step that into mod. Okay, good. I need my handles, see my wrists a bit. These are just typical push-up handles if you are wondering. Okay, bear, hop, plank, jack. One of each, starting with your jack. And jack and hop, jack and hop. Okay, your mod is walking it. You'll tap, tap, walk in, in, back, back. Staying on your back for a glute thrust next. Good. I'm gonna use like 120. On my hips, I'm gonna put my feet together, knees open, and I'm gonna rapid fire thrust those glutes. Feet together, knees open. Hold that dumbbell. And up, and up, up. Good. Nice and quick, squeeze your glutes. Don't arch your back at the top. Tuck the pelvis, remember. Whew. Feeling that rapid fire. Holy sudden fatigue in my legs. We're gonna start with the burpee down below here. And we're gonna jump up to a star jump. This is in honor of one of my members, Kathy, who requested this. So let's all thank Kathy in the comments below. <laughs> all right, burpee star jump or burpee jack to mod or jacks to mod. Here we go. So jump it out, jump it up, star there. Out and star. Good. 
single double military press with the eight. So you're both are up, you're gonna go single, single, double press, okay? All right, Trace, let's do that. Both up and down, down, both down, and press. Single, single, double here, and single. Getting heavy, even. Okay, set those down very good. A little cardio. We're gonna do a skip, skip, two jacks. Mod here. Sweating on my nose. <laughs> skip, skip, two jacks. So a little here, pulse and down. Bent arms is slightly easier if you need. We'll go lighter than fives. Stick your chest out. Up, up, down. Really stick your chest out on this one. Do a goblet pulse squat with just 120 there. Of course, you can hold both if you'd like. we get with one. Okay. Woo. So, hold it like a goblet, down, pulse, press. Alrighty. Right. Shoulder width. And one little inch pulse and press. for this, why not? I'm gonna punch cross, punch cross, low, low, and make it low impact. Here we go. But good burn on the shoulders. Watch your face. Good. 
All right, alternating front lunge. We'll do 15s. Nice and tall. Harder. Good. All right, we're gonna do a upright row W. That's why I'm lifting kind of light because the W is right here. Okay, combined with the high pull. Upright row. All right, W here. See, elbows are like a W. And high pull. Up. So working rear delts there. Little pause at the top. front kicks right here okay uh, I'm gonna add a punch opposite hand to opposite leg knees are soft core is engaged shoulders low and back here we go here here good bottom of the lunge, alternating sides, it'll be more challenging. All right, here we go. squats hold them here drop wide and low there alternating sides this is gonna be heavy okay diagonal drop here we go drop low press together switch sides drop Okay, that was 
heavy. Butt kicks, just to bring the heart rate down a little bit. And then one more circuit after that, that's it. All right, here we go. Tricep chest press is coming with my 15s there. All right, on your back. Tricep press, palms facing. It's a straight up and down press. All right, here we go. You're up and down. You're gonna stay down here for a weighted butterfly sit up. I'll hold one eight next. Plank dumbbell move with my 120 coming up. Okay. We're 
getting there, folks. We are getting there. Plank. I'm gonna reach under and move that dumbbell. Plank, bottom of the knees. So reach and move. Try not to rock the hips here. left after this. Stay in the pocket for 45 more seconds, folks. You got this. Of course, it's not going to be an easy one that we end on. Why would it? All right. Two jacks. One tuck jump, one star jump. Why not, calf? Modify if you need. All right. Two jacks. Tuck. Star, jack, tuck, star. stretch if you can. All right, can we take it to the ground? My heart rate's not too high right now. I feel okay to come down here. Lie on your back. Let's put your feet on the floor. Reach your arms out. Let those legs fall to one side, but keep your shoulder blades on the ground. Great torso stretch, uh, sciatic, IT band all along the side and lower back here. That's a great stretch to wake up to. Sometimes I do this in bed before I wake up. You know what I've been doing in bed? before I wake up. So my body just kind of naturally wakes up, switch sides here. And I am just practicing my breathing lying in bed. Like I'm trying to smell the roses, blow out the candles, smell the roses to the count of seven, hold for three or four, and then blow out to the count of seven and just really slow my breathing and work on my mindfulness, my mindful attention. Um, I find it easy there in bed because I'm just waking up in the morning. Let's stretch the hamstring. So um, because I'm not waking up to an alarm, I'm not fatigued, like I haven't just come out of REM, my body's naturally woken up. So it's a good time for me just to spend like four or five minutes. And I do have an alarm set in case I fall back to sleep. So um, it's been so great. I love it so much just starting my morning like that. I'm not a great breather. I find I'm really shallow and I'm really kind of quick switch legs here. So for me to practice, and if you practice that, you do improve. You improve on a couple things, not only just slowing your breath and not breathing so rapid, but also um, you're working on your attention span and staying in the moment. Okay, feet together, knees open. It's an easy thing when you can count or listen to your breath or pay attention to the sound of your breath your inhale, your exhale, you know, again, I say those words, smell the roses, blow out the candles, and I can visualize what that looks like. And it keeps my mind in the moment. It keeps me in that attention, which is really good. Go into a glute stretch crossover. Um, and why is that so good? Do you ask? There's so many beneficial reasons for increasing your awareness and mindfulness, least of which is improving your willpower and self-control. Uh, so how does that work together? Switch sides. When you, can, when you can pay attention and in the moment and you have that skill available to you, then you know when you're reaching for a night snack, which you had planned not to do, uh, but you're there sort of mindlessly reaching, okay, let's sit up here. You can pause and plan. You, you have that available, more readily available to yourself than that mindlessness that we so often can just 
eat our food, go into the pantry, eat our meals, we're watching TV, we're looking at our phone, we're reaching into a snack bag, we're overeating, and we're not mindful about our attention and what we're doing. We're not improving our relationship with food because we're not being mindful about it. And so when you practice that breathing, it gives you the skill of mindful attention. It increases your self-awareness, round through the back here. So I encourage you to try that today. Um, sometime today, you can even set an alarm, try that insight timer. They've got free uh, meditations, like even some are two minutes long. Everyone has two minutes. Anyone can do anything for two minutes. Uh, but it helps you to practice being mindful and attuned to your own needs, your wants, your, your uh, body signals. That's all very important when it comes to improving relationship with food. So that's why I do it. That's part and parcel why I do it. It also helps decrease stress, uh, makes me less reactive. Anyway, self-awareness is like the key for all things in my opinion. So if we can work on that, you're gonna be a healthier human all around. Thanks for joining, that was great. I feel good and sweaty, but not too bad. I'm gonna go eat my post-workout meal. I hope you enjoy your day. And if you wanna work out for tomorrow, click or tap there. As always, you can join our membership where we're always having conversations like this with the ladies over there, women only though, okay? See ya in the next workout.